Well, we're now in week number three of the Boeing machinist strike. According to an estimate by Anderson Economic Group, the strikes already cost Boeing, its employees and suppliers a total of $1.4 billion. Now, Boeing and the machinist union are going back to the negotiating table as they try to reach a deal. Now, as it turns out, there's a long history that preceded the current strike. Bridget Chavez with our Seattle sister station sat down with an expert in labor studies to find out how this disputes similar to strikes in the past. Remember this? The days of the Boeing bust and how similar that was to, to the way things are today. We sat down for a history lesson with Andrew Hedden, a labor expert at the University of Washington. You have a company in crisis. Um, you have a workforce that's feeling squeezed. He explains the company nearly went bankrupt in the early 1970s and laid off about 60% of its workforce. Resorting to um, layoffs like that really set the tone at Boeing um, from that point forward. By 1977, Hedden says the company had recovered and was making record profits. The workforce was pretty upset that the company was making so much money but hadn't caught up and wasn't passing on those gains to its workforce. The union went on strike for about 40 days. And that's significant because since that time, there's been um, seven or eight strikes. Um, and the union has always been able to get a better deal after it goes on strike. Fast forward to today. Machinists on the picket line say Boeing needs to make up for the last decade. And we've already seen that with the current strike, um, Boeing offering a more lucrative deal after the strike um, had been going on for a week. Similar to 1977, Hedden says right now the union has a lot of leverage. It showed that when the members show up and are united, that they can get more from the company. Um, and I think that's what you're seeing right now, too. With a front row seat to this historical strike, Hedden says the longer the workers stay out, the more desperate the company will become. Remembering what went on in the 1970s, can be um, a way to think about what's going on today and um, maybe to do something differently. Hopefully, Boeing will start to recognize that its workforce is united, that it's not going to continue to settle. Bridget Chavez, King 5 News. Now, the ripple effects of the strike are being felt right here in Spokane County. Some employees at Parker Aerospace in Airy Heights received a notice they're on an intermittent furlough. In the letter, which an employee provided to CREM2, the company states they've seen a significant impact on orders from Boeing programs they work with due to the strike. The company says employees placed on furlough will continue to receive benefits and may be called back to work for a few days a month. The company gives a time frame of between 90 days and five months for the situation to be resolved.